I dated a self-proclaimed nice guy. I dated the kind of guy that claimed women don't go for him because of X, Y or Z. He wasn't conventionally attractive. He was rather awkward, but I thought he was cute. He was the typical women don't give me a chance, but I could show them the world if they just overlooked my looks and status e.t.c, so I gave him a chance. Fast forward to a few months later and boy am I traumatized. This man tried in a million and one ways to coerce me to have sex with him even when I made sure he understood that I have sexual trauma and have never had sex. It was so fucking awful. He would whip his dick out and beg and beg and beg and I'd have to say no over and over again. He constantly talked about his ex. He emotionally manipulated me and would give me the silent treatment for days because I could never have sex with him. Many men claim to be heartbroken or ignored, or unappreciated only to end up being an emotionally abusive nightmare when you're in a relationship with them. These nice guys are not so nice after all. But I'm waiting for someone to rebut with so women don't want nice guys? Actually. I don't want any guys. I'm done Elmfau. I have enough trauma from my dad. I will be focusing on me and enjoying it henceforth. Edit just wanted to add that he would try to coerce me to have sex with him, subtly shame me for saying no, but in the same breath was very vocal about shaming women that enjoyed having sex. Rooney Mara's bit in the social network spoke to my fucking soul when I heard it. You're going to go through life thinking that girls don't like you because you're a nerd. And I want you to know, from the bottom of my heart, that that won't be true. It'll be because you're an asshole. I had this exact experience twice, tried giving nice guys a chance, both were two of the worst experiences of my life, both extremely emotionally abusive not a little, like extreme abuse. It is beyond me how these men can't see how disgusting and unattractive their behaviors are, if not downright predatory. Yes, women love when you pressure them, then berate them about sex. Like how could that not have been his one consideration for why women despise him? Why stay somewhere where you know you're going to get denied sex, for whatever reason, then think you can should traumatize the person into sleeping with you? These dudes got it fked up. No wonder they ain't getting laid. All nice guys have the same story. One time he heard a woman say, I hate it when guys do X and his like, not all men, I would never do X therefore, I guess I'm better than all other men completely ignoring how he keeps doing Y and Z. Then, once he's in a relationship and thinks he can get away with it, it turns out he does do X. Any guy who claims to be a nice guy or not like other guys is a huge red flag for me. Edit just wanted to add that he would try to coerce me to have sex with him, subtly shame me for saying no, but in the same breath was very vocal about shaming women that enjoyed having sex. This just kills me. If you have sex, you're a slut, a whore and you have a high body count. If you don't, you're a prude, a bitch and probably a lesbian. Which is it, boys? Do you want us to have sex or not? Don't answer because I know. We are to have sex with you and no one else, ever. How do they think that works, really? Unfortunately society has such a limited view of consent. A lot of men set the bar at not committing a literal crime and even then can't seem to behave accordingly. I too learned a hard lesson giving a chance to someone who said women don't give him a chance. There was a good reason. Next time someone runs into a self-proclaimed nice guy simply respond with really? Generally speaking a nice person doesn't have to announce that they are nice. Just like an actual smart person doesn't need to announce they are smart. They just are. Only people who are not those things and are trying to convince people they are feel the need to announce it. More often than not, comments about being a nice guy or not like other guys is an indicator of someone who lacks self-awareness about the real reason for their singleness. But of course, it's easier for people to tell themselves the issue is with others instead of doing the hard work of introspection and change. I'm so sorry you had to go through that and hope you find healing and peace. I'm divorcing a self-proclaimed nice guy at the moment. Granted there were a lot of issues in our marriage but a lot of this sounds all too familiar. Nice is one of like 200 traits. And even then that's assuming he's even nice. 
sure didn't sound like it. He would whip his dick out and beg and beg and beg. What? The. Actual. Fuck. Jesus. Sorry you had to go through that, and if you ever decide to date again, don't give them the chance go only for green flags all the way. Or join me and be blissfully and happily partner free and asexual in my case and enjoy life for yourself d. When will guys understand begging for sex is the opposite of attractive and will make us less likely to fuck you in the future, you coercive fucktards. Women don't give him a chance, because he's a loser. He's telling you all the reasons he's a loser. He's talking about you when he complains about other women. You're just one of them. Next time, believe a guy who shares those insights. Life is too short to dirty your path and evolution with rejects. It's too late for him. He's a lost cause and validating his existence by dating him only makes his obnoxious, predator behavior worse. As soon as a guy starts telling you what's wrong with ANY. I once had a nice guy start crying and masturbating in front of me because he needed sex and I wasn't in the mood due to his assholery. The image is burned into my brain. And I laugh. There are a few where a too few men who publicly say these asshole behaviors from other men are the reason they have so much trouble getting women to trust them. Until men themselves get some agency and start telling other men their behavior with women is horrible, nothing will improve. Women are tired of being the ones trying to make a bad boy good. If men listen to women at all this might work, but they can't agree with someone they basically despise. This is a man's problem. Ladies, I say let's hand it back to men to solve. Nice social ease. Polite, non-reactive to slights, priority is getting along, avoiding negative feedback versus comfort. It's about bowing to situational power, or interacting for manipulative goals, rather than intrinsic equal respect. Kind is a better goal. A person who is kind respects themselves and others. They don't absorb discomfort just to get something from someone else. They are able to deliver criticism without being cruel if necessary. They give the benefit of the doubt and interact with respect. I prefer kind people to nice people. Former nice guy here obviously not to that extent. They genuinely feel if women would give them a chance then they would show them. They think it's their looks or their hobbies that's the issue but it's their shitty attitude and entitlement. This results in men that have giant egos that are immune to the real world while being super sensitive to any kind of criticism. I heard someone once say nice guys are just the same as regular assholes except not as pretty. That's why it's such a red flag. You want a guy who is truly a good guy as demonstrated through his actions, not trying so hard to convince you what a nice guy he is, someone you have attraction to and who is compatible and has good things to offer in your life. That's the bare minimum he should expect to put up for a woman to give him a chance. The rest are hopelessly delusional failures completely blind to their lack of appeal and end up in our nice guys. No nice guy complains that he's too nice to date. I'm a nice guy is the public statement. So why won't anyone fuck me? Is the second part they don't say out loud. It reduces women to functions. Input nice. Output sex. No sex? Try being nicer. Try reminding them you put the nice in. Try reminding them you expect sex out. Try more nice. Talk to their friends get their friends to say how nice you are. So much nice going in. Where sex? Where sex? Where sex? Where sex? Nice is the expectation, not payment for a service. Sex is not a reward for basic human decency. My dude. This is why people won't give you a chance. It's not your looks. Or I'm so sorry you had to go through that. As someone with a background in psychology and behavior science, I always advocate for therapy it can really help you process what you went through, if you're ready. The nice guy subreddit has helped open lots of eyes to this absolutely shitty behavior. I think it should be mandatory viewing for everyone so this behavior can get called out more often. An lol at the jerk taking his dick out like that's supposed to cause some magical horny reaction, god what a dunce.